with Fritz. Fritz is from Cameroon and he has a product called I Am. Fritz, can you tell us a little bit more about your product? Uh, basically, I launched a startup in Cameroon three months ago called Feel Perfect, and we've launched this great product called I Am. Basically, what we do is we sell SMS content. You see, so uh, in Cameroon, for example, we have data plans, so uh, we have to go around all of the data plan limitations by actually offering SMS content to our users. So for for the past one month now, I've been able to like get a precise ex uh, view of what users actually pay for. We know, for example, in Cameroon, our users are willing to pay for job offers, our users are willing to pay for to learn English, and our users are willing to pay to get soccer goals. So we have a clear idea of what users actually want soccer to actually pay for. Soccer employment and English. Yeah, uh, English, for example. You know, Cameroon is a bilingual country, so mm. we speak English and French. English is a minority. So the Francophones, the French-speaking Cameroonians, actually want to learn how to uh, speak English. And the best way that we have seen for, to offer them that is via a platform where they get an English word every day. And you know, you know, it's kind of interesting. You always like to try to understand why would someone pay for a product like that. But it turns out that from the feedback that I've had from people who actually pay for my product, I give them one word every day, and they get to learn that word. So there's no information overload, nothing of that sort that you actually get in a typical book and the rest. Can they choose how many SMSs they want to receive? Exactly. So uh, what we did was created an SMS app store. You know, there's the Apple app, uh, uh, Apple app store and whatever. You get to choose the games or the type of products you want. Yes. Basically, that's what I do with SMS. SMS so, uh, wow. so our users actually get to choose the type of SMS content or service that they're interested in. There are some that are a bit really impressive, like uh, email notifications by SMS. So anytime, we don't have Blackberries, a lot of Blackberries, yeah. but uh, for, you see, our users get to like get notifications by SMS without having a sophisticated phone, without having data plans, without having only a BlackBerry. So that, that, that's just like one of the many uh, cool things to do with SMS there in Cameroon. Okay. And um, tell me, where do you source your content from? Okay, that's a very interesting question because you see, actually, uh, I think I consider myself a smart guy, but I, mm -hmm. I don't know everything. You see, so so what will smart people do? They will crowdsource. Please. So so that's so that's basically what I did. I don't know Zulu, for example, but uh, South African yesterday, for example, used my product to, to do learn Zulu by SMS. You see, so so that is it. so let anybody create his or her own SMS service on our platform. And the beauty of it is that it works on any phone. SMS works in, on any phone. You see, and actually, you get, actually gets paid for its effort. Yeah. So it's very easy, everything is wizard based, everything is as easy as you don't need to be a tech guy in order to create your own SMS service on our platform. Like you might need to be a tech person to actually create an iPhone application and stuff like that. So It's such a simple delivery. So, simple delivery, yes. Yeah. So something can be as simple as uh, content every morning, Bible verses every morning, Quran messages every morning. It depends. Or, but going even beyond Bible verses, you can go to like sermons by a particular pastor. So. It all depends on the creativity of the end user. You see, I, there's one person who, for example, decided to create African proverbs. You see, so I, I contacted a guy. Why, why are you creating? Why are you using my platform to create such a content? He said, No, he's a creative guy. He knows a lot about African proverbs, and he actually is uses he getting paid for that? Exactly, he's getting paid for it. But there's a certain threshold. I said it's like one month of data that I'm, I'm giving you, and he hasn't yet reached that threshold yet. Yes. But when he reach it, definitely I'll have to pay him. Fantastic. You see, so and it's actually a better way. Right now, I can say it's like a better way for content right now on our platform than using something like the web. You know, on the web, is, you have, you have very few methods of monetizing your content, principally by using Google AdSense. In Cameroon, for example, there's no way for you who is based in Cameroon to actually get paid by Google. Yes. And so, so instead of creating your content by SMS, there's a way, which is me, to actually pay you for being so creative with all the SMS content and offering it, it users. really does um, foster a culture of initiative. Like if you've got an idea and you want to provide us with content, then go for it. And, and, go and for you're it. serving a need. Well, uh, the SMS app is one part. That's what's actually generating revenue right now. But the most controversial feature of launch is also a mobile phone directory. You see, actually in Cameroon, we have so many, and many other parts of Africa, we have more cell phones than landlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, and there's no easy way, the, the yellow pages right now do not actually serve, like, do not actually do justice to all the businesses and individuals because uh, they're it's all limited. It's limited, exactly. Yeah. So what we did was we permitted anybody to actually get the contact number of anybody you want. So that's why so that's why one of our taglines, one of our slogans so is find anyone. So if I, opt in, yeah. opt in. So if you want, if you're looking for a plumber in Johannesburg, looking for a plumber, a restaurant in Cameroon, whatever, just use a search query 
you get the result and the results get stored directly into your phone's address book. Yeah. So those are like that's why I would say we specialize in selling SMS content. One of them is SMS app stores. That means a bunch of SMS services. Another one is user contacts. So basically, I like, I like the, the idea of creating an app store exactly. around it as well because exactly. it means as a user mm -hmm. I can pick and choose, exactly. which is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, there, there was something I was going to ask you. You've come to Tech for Africa. You've part of Seed Camp. Um, what has been your experience of Seed Camp and the actual conference? Okay. Um, actually, I was invited first as a speaker. as a speaker before on a panel. Be, yeah on yes. a panel before winning uh, before being a finalist for Seedcamp. So uh, the Seedcamp experience has been awesome. You see, you have this type of uh, various uh, people coming from different backgrounds and whatever uh, guys who have been there who have done that in the industry and stuff like that. So actually, I think I've learned a lot of things. I didn't win anyway. I didn't win the top prize, but uh, I got other contacts from there that uh, that, that are willing to uh, yeah. continue with the business. Um, as for the panel discussion, I think it was very interesting. You see, our panel was like the most diverse. There was someone from Ghana, someone yeah. from representing UK and Kenya, someone representing Cameroon, me, and other people representing South Africa. So, like, got the, like a whole, like a whole Pan-African perspective on what's happening with mobile content right now. Yeah. And how is it going to be in the future? Well, speaking of the future, what do you think your challenges are? Um, Okay, that's that's a very interesting question. Uh, the challenges right now is always funding. You see, uh, I'm, I'm actually very lucky that I got funding before from a, a very an incubator in Cameroon called Limbe Labs. So um, the principal challenge right now for me, in any way, is to increase my sales. That's my principal focus right now, and also increase the market. Cameroon is a very small market. I'm from Cameroon, but I admit it's a small market. Yeah. But the, the the initial strategy is to focus first on Cameroon and then spread towards other African countries. Johannesburg might be a target, but you guys are a bit advanced with data, iPhones and stuff like that. But we'll see, maybe there's still well, market so for it. it's controversial as to what's going to happen with smartphones. And exactly. to end off, I think that I've seen one of the most innovative products being sexy with the simple. And exactly. congratulations. Okay. Thank Enjoy you very the rest much. of the conference. Thank you very much.